Last week, Paul and Karin's tales fight led to police being called, and Karin went into hiding with Pierre. She has filed for a three-year restraining order against Paul, who is now declaring his heartbreak to the world. In late July, Paul went on Instagram Live to record and broadcast a lengthy visit from police. It's always difficult to explain what's going on in Paul's mind, but he must have thought that it would help his image somehow. Naturally, Paul's plan backfired as fans were alarmed at their situation, one that only became worse. Karine, with the help of a friend who was there to translate and advocate for her, has accused Paul of abuse. She says that he's controlling and makes decisions about her life without consulting her. In legal documents, she accuses him of sexual assault and of preventing her from leaving the house. Paul acknowledges that he has multiple domestic violence arrests on his record. However, he claims that he can explain it, that his actions were merely vengeful or opportunist. Paul says that he has had a string of bad luck with women, but that it's their fault, not his. I never knew my heart could feel such pain, Paul complains in a new Instagram story post. I always took for granted my son would be walking around me every day, waking up to his smiling face, playing and going for long walks. I never want to date or remarry to ever feel this pain again, Paul claims. To not be part of your children's life, born and unborn, is beyond painful, he says. Back in May, the Hollywood gossip reported that Paul and Karin are expecting baby number two. Well, Karin still is. As Paul's post continues, he begins to get increasingly preachy, giving advice to all fathers out there. He seems to place the blame for his current situation on publicizing his relationship with Karine. The suggestion seems to be that if he didn't put everything out there, Karine would never have left him. I will be deactivating all my social media accounts soon, Paul claims in a subsequent post. He writes, My social media addiction has caused me nothing but pain. It is time people put their phones and social media down, Paul proclaims, and focus on your loved ones. From these, it seems like Paul really believes that social media somehow destroyed his family. In police documents and in her own limited public statements, Karin has not said anything of the sort. She accuses Paul of controlling behavior and abuse, not of spending too much time on Instagram or whatever. But then maybe that is why Paul is desperate for anyone and anything else to blame. Similarly, he blames past relationship failures on all of the women with whom he has been, even though he is the common factor. There may be other reasons for his post, however. First of all, Paul is making these posts, to the very social media that he is also condemning, for his fans to see. That means that he is likely trying to leverage his Instagram use in contrast with Karin's more sporadic use for good PR. He wants to shape his image into a family man, possibly in the hopes that people will pity him or ignore Karin's accusations. But the second reason for that post, some fans believe, is that Paul may be getting into trouble with TLC. Though spoiled seasons are extremely common, they are technically in breach of contract if they share too much before the season ends. Some people think that TLC may have told Paul to get his butt off of Instagram or risk being sued. Food for thought. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned. <laughs>